Hi everyone, I made it. Let's go! I made it. I'm now in Philippines. I'm in Cebu in my quarantine hotel. Pretty fancy, pretty fancy, but oh my goodness. I'm so tired. Uh, uh, it's been a long travel experience and then frustrating on so many levels here. Uh, where to start? So, uh, I live in Washington State. Uh, I had to take flight from Washington to Korea and then Korea to Cebu. Uh, when I checked in at the Korean Air uh, in Washington, they asked for so many requirements. They asked for the One Health Pass. They asked for your vaccination card. The lady at the desk didn't know what she was talking about because she kept saying, because I showed her my hotel booking because she asked for it. I booked for six days. Uh, and then she's like, oh, no, the rules change. It's got to be seven days. It's like, really? No, it can't be. Because, like, I did my research before even going to the airport just in case. But it's like, no, it's it's seven days. Like, okay. So, like, she refused to give me my boarding pass unless I booked another two days. So I went online. I paid through Agoda. That's how I got my I'm, – okay. I'm staying at Savoy, Savoy Hotel in Cebu. Uh, pretty pricey. I paid $446 for six nights. It is but it go all out, right? It's vacation. Kasale ang breakfast, lunch, and dinner. That's fine by me. His room is pretty nice. It's very big. I'm on the 18th floor. Penthouse, darling. Penthouse, darling. It's free Wi-Fi. It comes with toilet and shower, so you don't have to use Tabo. <laughs> but anyway, uh. She wouldn't give me my boarding pass until I booked another flight. So I booked it on my phone, I showed her my phone, and then she gave me my boarding pass, and then I went to my gate. And then from Seattle, we boarded Korean Air to Korea in Incheon Airport. That was an 11-hour flight. Uh, the flight was fine. The food was good. You know, um, you have two options. You have Korean style or Western style. I didn't want to be a foreigner. So I just took the Korean style. I wanted rice, so it was good. I'll upload photos on the Get Married Online Facebook group. If you don't know, uh, the reason why I'm here is because I got married online to Daryl Lynn and we processed all the papers so I can be with her finally because the borders are closed to foreigners, uh, tourists and everything. Fiancés aren't allowed, so we got married, so I qualify for the tourist visa. Uh, we created a Facebook group to help other couples doing the same thing. So I'm not the only one doing this. There's a lot of people out there. Anyone can do it. It's just, it's a process. But anyway, Korea to, or Seattle to Korea, flight was 11 hours. It was okay. It was very uncomfortable. The seats hurt my butt. I couldn't find a comfortable position to sleep in. I would sleep for maybe like an hour, then wake up and adjust myself. Um, I booked an aisle seat. So there's a window seat and then there's an aisle seat. There's just two seats, but there was no one sitting next to me. So I just sat in the window seat and then just expand, you know, extended my legs and I slept like that. Uncomfortable wearing the mask the whole time, but you do what you got to do. Uh, and then, and then, 11 hours, I, I just watched a bunch of movies. I slept, I ate the food they gave us. I slept some more and then arrived in Korea. Here's the part that freaked me out. So before I left Seattle, the lady who gave me my boarding pass from Seattle to Korea, I asked her, I said, what about my boarding pass from Korea to Cebu? And she said, oh, you'll check in at the airport. I was like, I've never heard of that before. Because like, usually when I hear check-in, you have to go to the check-in desk. And if I'm arriving as a layover in Korea, I don't want to exit because then I would have to go through security and everything again. So this, this whole 11-hour flight, I was so worried I messed up or whatever. But sure enough... Uh, right at the gate is where they issued the boarding pass. Now, this is where people had a hard time. So a lot of a lot of Filipinos... So there was not a lot of people on my flight from Seattle to Korea, but a lot of, a lot of Filipinos from Korea to Cebu. There's a lot of OFWs. So I was in line at the, one of the gates, and it was taking a long time because the, the, Korean, the lady was asking for birth certificates. Who carries a birth certificate? So people were just showing their old passports or whatever. Then it was my turn. I gave her my passport. She has from she has a whole list right on her counter. It's one health pass, passport, hotel booking, uh, and depending on what how you're visiting, 
you need your old Philippine passport. In my case, I have the 9A visa uh, through marriage. So I showed my marriage certificate. I showed her the report of marriage and I showed her the our apostle marriage certificate. And then what else she asked? Hotel booking. Uh, what else? COVID test, negative COVID test. I, I was prepared. And then she printed my boarding pass and then I just waited to board. Our flight from Korea to Cebu was delayed by like 30 minutes. They didn't say anything. They, boarding time was 8.05, but we didn't board till like 8.35 and they never made an announcement. Don't know if that's Korean standards or whatever. But when I landed in Korea airport, I, of course, I was stressed the whole time to so have a boarding pass. So I didn't know if I, I just kept, I knew what gate to go to because it's on, I know what my flight number was. It was Jin Air. I flew Jin Air from Korea to Cebu. I just looked at the digital board. There's my, I found my flight number and it says gate 103. It's on the other freaking side of the airport. So I'm walking, I'm sweating, I'm sticky, gross. I boarded the plane. Uh, the plane is not, it. Uh, it's a compacted plane so it's three seats this side three seats that side everyone's compacted together I was in the aisle seat there was a space between us and then there's a guy and the people sitting next to us they're two actually I was wrong two seats to the left or so. but everyone's so clenched together they gave us snacks which was fine I didn't feel comfortable eating so close to people because my plane from Seattle Korea there was space I can take my mask off so they gave us I, there was a muffin and jelly and a rice cake I didn't like, so I didn't finish that. I ate all my food in Korean air because I was hungry. I didn't eat breakfast before I left because I was nervous. Uh, um, that was a four-hour flight. I just tried to sleep the whole time. Uh, uncomfortable. I don't know if something wrong with my butt or the plane seats are just not very good, but it's what it is. Now, here's the part you got all been waiting for. Uh, getting to Cebu. As soon as I landed Cebu, I had to fill out all these forms, a Bureau of Immigration form, uh, the, your claim, your, your claim, yeah. First thing you, you arrive, there's this little briefing area, and they'll add, the unvaccinated will proceed, because they get, like, isolated or whatever for unvaccinated, vaccinated stay, they brief you, the lady was like, okay, uh, there's the, this is the protocols for Cebu, um, she had the list of all the red list countries on the board. If, you, if you're coming from one of these, yada yada, or whatever, you know the rules. If you're coming from one of these countries, you're not allowed in. Uh, luckily, no one was from that country. Um, if you're transiting, that's fine. Uh, then we proceeded to processing. So the validation, I got in line, validation counter. They asked for your One Health Pass and your passport. A uh, guy took my one health pass, he typed in the computer, got my passport, he put a sticker on it. Where's my passport? I'm lazy. They put a bunch of stickers on my passport for tracking and everything. So after they validated my passport, I went to the immigration line. Now here, here's the part. Oh, here we go. Immigration officer, like my purpose of visit. So I gave him my passport. He looked at it and then he got, he got smart with me. He saw my visa and he goes, can you give me the supporting documents? And I go, what do you mean? He's like, the documents you used to get this. I was like, oh, yeah, I'm married. So I gave him the report of marriage. I gave him our, mar our possible marriage certificate. And he's looking at it. He's looking at it. And he goes, have you met your wife? I said, no, this will be my first time. And then his, his attitude kind of changed, right? Goes, Did you get married online? I said, yeah. Then he started asking me all these questions. He asked me her name. He asked me if I had her passport. Darlin doesn't have her passport yet. She's in the process. We submitted her I postal ID, but they didn't give that back for original documents. Uh, and he asked me for her name. I can tell you her, where she lives. So go, uh, what else did he ask? Uh, I see. I was so anxious I forgot already. If I remember, I'll make another video. But he finally stamped my passport. And I was like, yes, that's the hardest part, right? Getting through immigration. I don't want to get offloaded trip then after that I had to go to the DOT domestic transfer I get in line they base they're just confirming your hotel booking if it's qualified if it's one of the qualified quarantine facilities yes it is again I'm at Savoy Savoy Hotel so after she verified that I went to get swabbed they swab you twice uh, they do inside your mouth and they did they do one of your nostrils not like in the US they do both nostrils but they did they did one they did my left nostril 
she's behind a screen and then she puts her arms through and she my mouth after that I went to get my luggage and after I found my lug I was happy I found it after I got my luggage I, I had booked reserved a taxi from the airport to the hotel so I just had to wait for someone with Savoy and the guy his name is Christian he's very nice he's a hotel representative and then the driver so they both of them he escorted he, he helped me with my luggage Oh, before I left the airport, I had to give the, the white paper, the claiming paper, like how much you're claiming. They didn't even look at it. They just put it in a pile, and then I had to put my stuff through screening again. And then they let me go. Uh, he asked, Christian escorted me to the van, uh, he, and then we drove about maybe 10 minutes, 15 minutes to the hotel. Uh, before I got in the hotel, I had to do a temperature check using my hand. The guy... At the entrance, the security guard, I didn't understand him. If he was speaking Tagalog or Cebuano, his dialect was different. So the Christian had to translate for me. They had to sanitize my bags before they they bring it in. So they had me go in first. I checked in on the counter. I had to fill out all these paperwork and stuff like that. Passport number, my vaccine, ganito, ganito, signature, signature. And then that's it. I'm checked in. He es Christian escorted me to my hotel room. I'm on the 18th floor. It's the highest floor, he said. Uh, while driving here, I, I tried making, you know, chismis with them, get to know them. Christian has three kids. Uh, driver doesn't have kids. We're just talking. And then uh, Christian was really nice. So I gave him a tip, 500 pesos. Wow, son of 500. You hear nice thing? He's got kids. And he's he was nice. Well, he said he has kids. I can't confirm. <laughs> if he lied to me, bahala shajan. But that's it, guys. All that process worked. I'm here for... I booked six days. Um, swabbing here in Cebu is free, so I didn't pay for the swab test at the airport, and then I won't be paying for the swab test on my fifth day. Um, so hopefully they release it on my sixth day before checkout. If not, I have to extend another day. Then, then after that, we're good to go. Thank you, guys. My lips are dry. It's been a long journey. But if I can do it, I am not the smartest man. I'm not the most genius or intellectual, whatever you want to call it. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I have to ask a lot of people. Uh, but if I can do it, you can do it. Uh, I'm going to re relax. I'm super tired. I'm going to check the room out a little bit more. They gave me like a five-gallon thing of water. Hopefully it's really purified and not just tap water. I can or The restaurant's 24 hours. I don't know what time they'll serve breakfast. I should call and ask, but I can always order food in advance. Uh, that's it. I'll keep you guys updated. I'm going to relax. Puti Ponoy signing out. Do it with me. This is. I'm going to try to patent this. The chest slap. Let's go! I'm in the Philippines. I'm in the Philippines. Let's go! Alright guys, peace.